Okay, welcome to our Warshade tour for City of Heroes. Warshade is the other version of Keldean. The other one was Peacebringer. You can become a Keldean by merging with an alien essence that comes to Earth seeking a host. For whatever reason. Maybe it's dying, maybe you're dying, maybe neither of you are dying, but it still needs a host to live on Earth. You merge and become basically a new third being because it's a complete merge. And of course you gain energy powers. Just like Peace Bringers, Warshades can be built in a variety of ways. Human form only, dual form using Human Nova or Human Dwarf, or Triform or Triformer or Triple Changer, human, which is Human Dwarf and Nova. Warshades' powers are darker in nature. They're basically, as I recall, the lore. They are alien beings looking for redemption. And Peacebringers gain the inherent ability to fly and hover with war shades for whatever reason they decided to make it teleport. <sighs> Which means if you want to fly, you can get yourself a jetpack, use your Nova form, or in my case, I have the rocket board. And that costume aura that you're seeing is the dark matter aura. Do a search on Google using the term Kirby Dots, K-I-R-B-Y, and the word Dots. And then look up any reference that you find for Jack King Kirby, legendary comic artist and creator. It's called Dark Matter in the game to avoid any potential problems of the legal variety. And it's also a rather fitting aura for the war shades. Of course, costume auras don't carry over when you shapeshift into dwarf or nova form, but that's okay. And as you can see, it's also a path aura, because I'm leaving a I'm leaving a trail behind as I fly. <laughs> And you get to see the rocket board in action. This is purchased with Paragon points from the Paragon market. It's a good thing to have for low-level characters that don't have a travel power yet, or if you don't plan to take a travel power for your character, or if it's a character type that you want to have a travel power for, but you prefer to fly and they can't take flight. Because as you train up and level up a war shade, you will never be able to access the fly power set, which is a shame. I have nothing personal against teleportation power, I just never did see the logic in that Peacebringers fly, Warshades teleport. And the reason being is... I don't know. <laughs> they never really said, I don't think. Or if they said, I might have missed it and I've never been able to find the answer. And also when transformed in Dwarf or Nova mode, your pool powers like maneuvers, and stealth, etc. are completely shut down and cut off. Can't use them. Can't use them at all. Nova form has four energy beam attacks that are specific to it. You can pick them in your, for your human form to have, but that would require four power set choices versus taking the one Nova power and gaining the, the four abilities. Dwarf has its own attacks as well. And human has its own powers that are specific to it. One of which is called... Eclipse. Okay, I f was surfing around in the air in Peregrine and forgot that um, if you surf too far in any direction, you'll find yourself warped into Talos. Forgot that little map interconnection. Let's get back to Peregrine. I have a mission set up in there for the warshed. So we'll jet over to that mission now. That 
as you can see, these are completely cut off. Also, human form powers are cut off as well, which is fine. It's just with the pool powers, it would have been nice if they would suppress and show still running without endurance being spent, of course, while you're transformed. Otherwise, when you shift back into human form, you gotta spend a few moments to, to reactivate them. And that might be costly. You might be in situations where that may not be the best thing in the world to do. Yep, I can't even transform into dwarf or nova mode while the rocket board's on. That's okay. In fact, now that we're here... and walk. We'll walk from here. Eclipse, as I was saying, this is a power that siphons stamina away from enemies and can be used to augment your resistance. For a long time, many Warshade players would augment their builds to make it into a perma recharge power, which I have done on this character. I've done it to the point where I actually don't need to use Hasten to help bolster the recharge to make it perma. It's perma without. Also, the effects of Eclipse can now carry over into Nova and Dwarf mode, which is a beautiful thing. Got laser beam eyes here. My shield powers for human form for some resistances. My Quasar AoE Mega Blast attack when surrounded by enemies. Dark Extraction. I beat an enemy. I use this. I extract their essence into an energy ball that follows me around and blasts targets. Unchain Essence. Use that on a fallen foe and energy bursts out from them, blasting nearby enemies. Sunless Mire. Damages enemies and buffs me. Self-Resurrection. If enemies are nearby and I perish, I can drain energy from them to come back. Stygian Circle. Drain energy from defeated enemies to replenish myself. Almost makes you feel like an energy vampire, doesn't it? Stealth Aura. Which does not stack with the stealth power from the invisibility pool. Oops. Slight misclick, but as there are no targets in the area, I don't drain stamina. Stealth is, of course, taken so I can have invisibility and phase shift. These were taken partly as recharge mules and partly as kind of an escape power in case I ever needed to phase out and avoid something. Which is actually pretty rare, but it's there. Okay. And, of course, with all the recharge, it augments my Eclipse, it augments all my other powers, so... Quasar, I'll be back up sooner than expected. Meanwhile, let's go ahead and eclipse. Oh, they stunned me. How about that? When stunned or held, if you're a Peacebringer or a Warship, you can shift into Dwarf mode, which will offset the effects of the hold or stun. That was Unchained Essence, and here comes Dark Extraction. Now I have my Essence Extraction. And I've got Fallen Enemy, so I'll use Stygian Circle, and I pull out their energy. I'm replenished. Let's go Nova mode. With all the recharge I have too, if I do, I, I could have up to three of these extracted essences with me. By the time I could summon up a fourth, all of them, the first one will have been disappeared. 
The essences follow you, you really can't control their movements, they just follow and blast. Here's our shotgun beam attack for multiple enemies. The essence has the same beam attacks that I have. So it's basically bringing double the firepower. Let me cut back into human form. Do a quick replenishment. For, un for the dark extraction, you gotta be quick to use it, because if an enemy starts despawning after being defeated, you won't be able to extract them. You'll just waste a, you'll just waste a usage of the power. Sunless Mire is good. You could use it, then go Dwarf Mode, which has its own version of that Mire attack, and double up the bonuses as you get from it. Also, the extracted essences sometimes make a good conversion. Sometimes enemies will attack them instead of you. Let me drain this person. And while we're at it, I'll replenish the minor damage I took. And as you can see, these powers that were on were cut off and did not reactivate when I changed back. Now let's try for this. Basically, a lot more fire bonuses on me. And the fire is recharge, so I get to blast them again with it. Keep myself energized with it. See, it's all right back up. Human form. Don't really need to use this, but some nice firepower. Like I said, they are uncontrollable, though. Whoops. Looks like the third one already despawned. Ah, that's a shame. Oh, well. They are not controllable. They just follow and blast. I have no control over what they do.
was a quantum gunner. Quantum gunning gunner characters, be they void seeker, void hunters, or a regular army character given a quantum gun, are hunters of the Chaldeans. Their quantum gun energy is basically to us what kryptonite is to Superman. However, they're not as tough as they once were. They were recently in the Valor match. And even before that, they were easily handled. Which made Morph mode is highly resistant to the to the quantum energy effects. It can still take you down, but it takes a lot more shots. Squid mode, on the other hand, also known as Nova mode, is on the other hand a little bit more vulnerable since that mode has no defenses. It's a squishy, it's a squishy mode, but hey, you can just hover up high and blast with it and stay out of most battles. Hey, speaking of the voids I mentioned, here's one. damage done in war mode. Plus I have some close effects still on me as well. Steel his essence. We'll make another extracted energy. that have that ability are war shades because they come with it or my stone armor characters just because you kind of need that travel times while I'm granted. I do say kind of because there are some ways around it. This is what the dwarf looks like from up front. As I look at him, I remember some of the Zoanoids from the Giver anime series and manga. Not saying he's directly copied from them, but I do see some possible inspiration. Let's look at Nova mode here. There he is. This is the Nova mode, Dark Nova in this case, as it's a war shade. Basically, it's also known as squid or jellyfish. It has no defense, basically. It's very fragile, but it has a hit buff while in this form, and the four beam attacks pack a nice punch. And if you're under the effects of Eclipse, that's always a nice help, too. And then, of course, the human form. Costumes with the bioplasma or the phoenix wings, one piece of the celestial armor, and then the ascendant radiant armor clips, and the elemental face mask set combined with the statesman helmet set. Pretty nice. Greetings, program.
the anime mecha armor with bioplasma ore. Okay. And that's cut, print, that's a wrap. Hope you enjoy this little tour of the war shades. See you around.